What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and today is a 36 day. So today, we're going to be talking about the 36 inch Gravely Pro Stance. What's going on guys? Andy here with Cut and Clean Lawn Care. I'm on your lawn, yep, you know we got it going on, it's hot outside, but we're grinding. So like I said guys, I'm going to try to get some footage on the uh, 36 inch Gravely Pro Stance. I'm getting a lot of comments, people kind of asking what's going on with it. I don't want to just get something really that I haven't used and haven't got to use on a lot of properties and just kind of start saying it's good or it's bad or anything. I wanted to put some hours on it. I got about 20 hours on it right now and uh, just getting the feel for it and what I think about it. So I'll be giving you a lot of information on that and what I think about it. But uh, let's get to mowing some of these properties real quick, guys. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I don't know how many I'm going to be doing with the 36 today, but... We'll get you some footage. But I will at least tell you guys this much before I start mowing. With the 36 inch Pro Stance, I can get done twice as fast as I can with the Encore. And by the time I'm done with that property, I don't feel like I was just in a fight because that Encore or walk behinds in general with the Sulky Man, after a while it beats you up. You start hitting every bump on the lawn. There's not much cushion in between that. All you got is the pressure and the tires and the sulky and man it beats you up after about five properties but on you know 36 inch pro stance i can mow all day and not have any issues so i don't know man i, I definitely like it a lot more than the encore for sure <laughs> That's a brand new property. I've never mowed that one before, but it's another one of those properties where the gate's too small for me to fit the 48 in, so I got to use a 36. 
And uh, yeah, man, I don't feel like push mowing or using the walk behind on a backyard that big. I can fly through it with the uh, stander, and that's where that 36 inch stander comes good for certain business models. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to work for everyone's business models, but I get a lot of those older houses built in 1950s, stuff like that. The uh, backyards are super, super big with really, really, really small gates. Still doesn't make any sense to me, but so a mower like that works good in my business model for the properties I'm getting still to this day. So it's just all about what fits for your guys' business. So guys, kind of winding down, sweating a little bit. So I'm gonna leave you with my kind of thoughts on the Gravely Pro Stance 36. My main pros is gonna be the ease of use. The machine is very... The machine is very easy to use. The hydros are super smooth. My 48 and this 36 are pretty much the same. Um, a lot of the skags I've used, I understand on. Um, the pumps just seem real finicky. It's a lot harder to keep the mower in a straight line. It's a lot more jerky. Uh, these are just really, really smooth in my opinion. The other thing I'm always gonna like on these mowers is the foot pedal on the plate to lift the deck up and down when you get in situations or if you just don't wanna yank the handle all the way to uh, adjust your heights. And the third thing is gonna be the actual height adjustment itself on the Gravelys. I love that feature. The wheel or the dial that you spin to change the height of the deck compared to pulling a pin out, adjusting the deck, putting a pin back in, all that stuff. Either way, it's not a huge difference, but I, it's something I like a lot about these mowers, man. So like always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and expect a full review and me talking about this mower in the future. I just, like I'm saying, I'm trying to get my feel for it, my opinions, how I, how I like it, how it cuts. Let me get through the fall season, or close to the end of the fall season, and then I'll give you guys a full in-depth overview and review on the machine. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. We'll see you in the next one.